Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you how to make proper Valorant cinematics in Blender. Uh, we're gonna start with the animation for this video. The assets you need are the character model, and you need. We're gonna do a reload animation for this because you need the most assets for it, so you learn the most, I think. So for animations, you need the upper body and the lower body PSA. You can easily port them, and you need also you also need the weapon, of course, the weapon model with armature. And the animation for the weapon and then we will just put everything together in this video so yes that's what we're gonna do now i'm not gonna go over the porting part because you can either just use a drive like mine drive or there are a few good discards you can link some of them in the description and yes there are also plenty of porting tutorials and if you still need some i can maybe make a tutorial on that as well but for this i know i have an empty blender file if you still have something in it just press a and x and delete and this should be it now we're gonna go to file, append, and append any model. Let's go with Phoenix to object, object, and select the AO and the MO. If this doesn't have it, that MO at the end, you can still select it. Sometimes it's hidden. And you press append. No, we have uh, this model over here. It's pretty nice, but we need two of them because we are gonna apply two animations. Press Shift D. G, Y, and drag it over there. So now we have two models. Let me go on this. You need your PSA, PSK add-on installed. I will leave a link to that as well. Now you click import, click the amateur, click import PSA. And you scroll down, and as you can see, I have like my own little drive. It's also synced with G drive, where I have all my stuff already exported. So yes, maybe I will make the public one time. So here are all vandal animations. We're gonna use a vandal for that now. So we're just gonna select this and we select the re reload underscore LB. That's important. Oh, that was the lower body. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, then we select the UB on this one. Uh, Okay, nice. So it should look like this. Sometimes it rotates and then you can just rotate it back to normal or just leave it rotated. Yes, but it's basically the same. I'm gonna drag this to the left because that's what they usually have. Uh, for this, we're gonna now click on the lower body and press tab. Now we're in edit mode and you click on this little X over here and that looks like this. Then we click on this icon so it's wireframe so we can select through bones and stuff. And then we drag a box like this. And we also need this bone. So now it looks like this. It's just the legs, the lower body. What we're gonna do now is go into pose mode. Press Ctrl C. And we go over there and we try it. And you see it worked. We copied exactly the keyframes we needed. Now we go back to object mode. Select the Phoenix upper body animation. Press tab. And we do the exactly the same. We also select the lower body. Like this, and also this bone, also this bone. Hello, nice. What we're gonna do now is we go a bit to the back. You don't need to do that, but that's what I do. It's the easiest and it doesn't get weird errors. And it's easier to understand. And we paste. So no. We go back to post one, of course. And you see the legs work now. Just at the end, but they work. So for this, no. We are gonna go on the summary line and drag a box like this. So all keyframes get selected and we press X. So yes, I can't, I don't know. These are sometimes a bit buggy. Okay, yes, so now they are gone. Then we go to the frame one, drag a box like this and we drag the keyframes over there. So now if we play it back, Yes, we have a fully working reload animation. Let's go. You can delete this now. And you can drag this to the center. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Um, what we're gonna do now is we go to File, Append, and we select. Uh, this drive is, by the way, uh, from Brains. I will link it in the description. It's pretty cool. It has most of all weapons. We're now gonna import a Vandal. 
this animation works with the normal vandal skins by the way because if you have a, like a really special one it will have its custom animation so you need to make sure you use one with the default animation if you use the default PSA so we're just gonna import the vandal it's important that you also import the magazine especially for reloads and then we go on this here actually we can already control D the magazine and drag it over there because we will need that uh, no we go on to the armature of the weapon go to the first frame press import PSA and now we are gonna search for the GNTP one this one here GNTP underscore reload the GN means gun and the TP means means third person so these are the third person animations and this is the gun third person animation and we're gonna apply the gun animation to the gun so now if we play it back you can see it flies around uh, and now we click on this one we just straight out and we press this X so no it isn't parented anymore so the magazine is animated now and the gun trigger thingy, I don't know what it's called exactly. Yes, get also getting dragged back, that's pretty important. Can drag this out and no, we go on the weapon. We click and we go to this bluish icon here and we add an object constraint, which is a child of a constraint. And we select a bone from the Phoenix model. And now we go to, because he's holding it in the right hand, we go to R underscore weapon point. As you can see now, it is working, that's nice. And for this, we're gonna click on local, and then on the reddish thing, you can drag it a bit and just set it to 90. And that should be already it, I think. Okay, now there's one small issue. Um, as you can see, oh, no, it isn't actually. Sometimes I once said that my magazine was lagging a bit, but this one is working perfectly fine. So we can even delete this magazine. Sick. Nice. Um, so now what you're gonna do now is just what I recommend is to make I make like the animation stuff first before I go over to the map and stuff. But I think I'm gonna make a separate tutorial for this because this is the part where the most people struggle and they hope this helps you all of it out. Uh, see you all in the next part.